Hey guys, it's Colin and I am in Littlestown again because, well, nothing's changed. I still have buyers and there's still nothing to sell in Littlestown. So I'm pleading with you. I need your help. I have three pre-approved buyers in Littlestown School District. All with GMH Mortgage from $150,000 to $200,000. But I have nothing to sell. They may just want to live on Apple. Apple Grove may just be where they want to live. Grove. Can you live in a Grove? Or they may just want to live on Applejack. Little Sound really likes apples, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Heck, they might even want to live at Stoner's Farm. No judgment. They may even just want to live on Colorado. Heck, maybe they even want to live on Lexington. Heck, maybe they want to live on Columbus. Maybe they want to live on Potomac. Isn't that a Maryland name? Come on, Little Town. You can get top dollar right now in this market, and there are buyers calling, clawing, absolutely clawing to try to get into Little Town. But do you blame them? Who wouldn't want to live in Little Town? There's a firehouse. It's run by volunteers. There's lots of cool names in Little Town. It's all royalty for the most part. Prince, King, Queen, some weird Maryland stuff, something called Myrtle. The point of all this is the street name doesn't really matter. People just desperately want to live in Littlestown. So if you've been thinking about selling your home in Littlestown, I would love to have a conversation with you because I may just have a buyer for you. There's really only about two stop, maybe three, three stoplights. <laughs> Everyone wants to be a lightning bolt. I, I don't blame them. Go bolts. A lot of buses going by right now. It's really loud. <laughs> town because I have three buyers that haunt. Yeah, that's a lot. Anybody else ever notice that Colorado is across from Stoner's Farm? Tell me that's not intentional. <laughs>